Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you some fantastic basketball drills that you can run with your team if you're running the 1-2-1-1 one, one, one full court press defense. Now, let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these basketball drills. Okay, so first off, this first drill you can run on just the half court, so you could actually get 10 players going at a time. You could have another 5 players on the other half of the court. So what we're going to have here is 2 offensive players and 3 defensive players. We are now setting up essentially the 1-2 part of the 1-2-1-1 press defense. And what we're teaching here is for this player to go after the player who has the ball to direct that player towards that sideline. Now we have two offensive players because of course we're also trying to teach our players how to beat a press defense as well. So this is kind of like a dual edged sword basketball drill. Where we're going to have now player one obviously for obvious reasons wanting to pass over to player two. Meanwhile we would have already had player two red moving up to the free throw line. At this point, we will have player 1 move over to player 2 to continue to try and force player 2 blue over towards that sideline. Now, these two players, they are working in tandem to force player 2 into this corner. Because every single full court press defense, or even half court press defense, that you're running, the whole main idea is to trap the offensive player in these corners. The reason for that is because that player will be unable to move or dribble the ball back over that half court line, obviously cannot dribble out of bounds, and now he has two players taking up that space where now he is trapped, he cannot get out. This player's left foot would be on the on the center line, this player's right foot would be on the sideline, and there would be, if they're wide and low enough, there will be no room down the middle, which will allow it to be a trap, especially if their hands are up and blocking any of those long passes. Now, what we're looking to do, we'll remove this guy back just a bit, if player 2 was to pass back over to player 1, we don't want player 3 to be staying way over to that side. We want him to be right at the imaginary line going down the center of the court. Imaginary because there's obviously no line going down there. This is going to be so that when player 1 tries to attack player 3, player 3 is still able to force player 1 blue out towards that sideline. Meanwhile, we're now going to have player 1 closing in and cutting off the ability for player 1 to spin off of player 3 red. Again, this is just basically a 3 or 2 on 3 basketball drill and we've already preset our players up in that 1-2-1-1 one, one, one type of format. Now, if you were a coach, you can have a coach on either side timing this, and you can say, hey, offense, you have eight seconds to get past half. If the defense is able to stop you or get a turnover or trap you in those corners, then you lose a point, and you can then switch and have those two defense or those two offensive players now switch into defense. And now if you had six players, let's say six players waiting on this side and they just keep an alternating out and uh, back in for offense and defense. And now you can say switch and now it's going to be these two players attacking these three players. And those offense and defensive players will continue to switch through and then you can say hey. Whichever team gets the most amount of points. So for defense, you get a point. If you have stopped the other team from advancing past half in eight seconds, you get another point if you get a turnover, and you get another point if you get a dead ball in one of those trap locations. Next is going to be the offense. The offense can get points too if they can get past half within that eight second range without turning over the ball or getting trapped. Now this next drill I'm going to show you is a drill that I've showed on this channel before. However, if you haven't seen it before, definitely use this drill in your practice. It's absolutely fantastic. It teaches your team how to beat a press defense. It also teaches your team how to run a press defense. Let's get down to the clipboard. Let's check this out. So we're going to have three lines 
and we're going to go down all the way we're going to use the full court this is going to be a quick drill we're going to run through it really quickly so basically player five blue he's going to try and dribble down the court as fast as possible meanwhile players one red and two red are going to try and cut him off and force him towards one of the sidelines now once they cut him off if player five is leading in this direction what I want to see happen is player 2 to sag off and let player 1, because he's on this side already, to take lead. Player 1 is going to be the one directing player 5 over towards that sideline. Meanwhile, player 2 is playing the man to stop the reverse or the spin so that player 5 continues in that direction towards that trap location. If he does spin off and player 2 now is going to be lead directing player 5 towards that sideline and player 1 is going to be the one bringing up the behind to stop the reverse or stop the spin move. You can also stack this drill as well and this drill is great when you stack it as well because it's a lot of fun. So you can stack this drill by having now 4 lines. And with these four lines, what we're going to be having is these two inside lines are the offensive team. These two outside lines are the defensive team. And what I want to see happen is these two players to get down court, past half, all safe. And then I want to have these red players, the first players in line, to try and cut off those players from doing that. Actually, this is my fault. I should have added another line. Um, we're going to have three lines three defensive and two offensive and now what we're going to have is player five red trying to sprint ahead to cut off and then these players and again just like our last or first drill i showed you it's very similar however let's get this drill going what we're going to be having is player five getting cut off and most likely if he was smart we would have him not trying to attack that man to try and get that gap because now he's just going to be forced over towards the sideline we want him to reverse that ball now when player two gets that ball player three is going to cut him off and force him towards that side the closest one of these two players is going to bring up the behind and player four is going to move over in this case to that imaginary line these two players are going to be forcing that player into that corner and you can keep on stacking this drill with more and more offensive and defensive players. But keep in mind when you start stacking this drill, just like the mistake I made for one second earlier, you always want to have one more defensive line than the offensive lines. That way it stays even for the defense. You want there to be more defense. For one, they learn how to work together, but for two, it makes the offense work even harder. So these drills will help your team run a press defense much better. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.